tour with us today. Express tour. The express, yeah, a few hour tour, and then get some good food and some gelato um, before we head back to the airport. Good evening. We're in Rome right now. We just arrived from Crete. Uh, from Crete. From Crete. <laughs> From Greece. Uh, we basically have an overnight layover here. Uh, tomorrow morning we fly home back home to Ottawa and Vancouver um, but we're spending the evening in Rome and we're going to do a, basically like a Express. three to four hour ish time frame in Rome. So we're gonna take you through a little bit of a, a whirlwind walk by everything in Rome and show you what's Let's good to do if you have just a quick layover. Yeah just a quick layover get, visit to Rome if you don't have time to basically see all the sites and get into tour really, everything. Really should. Yes, if you have a time here. We've been here, here before, that's why we're not staying too, because we've both been here a few times. Yes, on that note, exactly. We have both been here multiple times, so this is just a layover point for us for heading home, but we decided we might as well capitalize on that and enjoy our time in the city. A little bit of information as well. You can take the train in from Rome, and the prices vary, obviously, by when you're watching this, um, but right now they're about, I think it's about 14 euros. Uh, direct fare, uh, it's a direct train from the airport right into Rome, Germany station. Why am I so Here we go. Uh, if you don't do that, you can also take a cab. The cab is about 50 euros. Um, or you can take an Uber, which is about the same price as well. Uh, you can also rent a car. But we have just taken a shuttle to our, our hotel and then we're taking a shuttle in from there. So it worked out really well for us. It is quite expensive. Um, if you do car sharing, they also have the car to go, which you can do. And it's quite cheap. So you can take the car to go in town, park it for you know, 10 euros for the evening and then drive right back out to wherever you need to go. We have arrived in the city of Rome and we are walking to pick up our friend Brad who's been traveling with us for the last couple of weeks when we were in Greece. Um, he's actually continuing on on his own, spend some time in Rome because he's not been here before. But we're going to pick him up and give him a little grand tour with us today. The express tour. The express, yeah, a few hour tour and then get some good food and some gelato um, before we head back to the airport. Um, we're just trying to find some water right now. Brad, you're likely not watching this, but we got caught up on the way to pick him up and bought us some cannoli because we gotta just get in on this Italy. Enjoy. Yummy. They must stop for a cannoli, an Italian cannoli. Oh, so good. We found ourselves a Brad. We also found ourselves another friend. We call him Trevi. With all of our other best friends here. Trevi Fountain is a busy, busy site, but super, super cool. Moving on from the Trevi Fountain, that was a quick little pit stop, and now we're heading to the Spanish Steps. Just a short walk away. Next up on our list is the lovely Spanish Steps. One of the best things about Rome is there's water everywhere. So Mark's got his bottle and he's going up to... Hello, sir. Going... Oh, oh. Oh, oh, God, oh. He's going up to the fountain to fill his water bottle. Not drink from this part. In McDonald's here you can use the bathrooms for free, so don't judge us for being in McDonald's. But drop me a fun fact about this McDonald's location. First McDonald's and McDonald's coffee at the McCafe in Europe is like is the like cafe coffee. Like also. very, very good coffee. So here you go, McDonald's right in the Spanish steps, which we're lost in. Oh, there we go, the exit. Is the first McDonald's in all of Italy. And it looks like a subway station and it's very fancy. It's got its own little mini display areas. It looks like very Roman. The almond. Mm. These stores are all so good because they have like samples where you can go around, you can try all their different foods. They have like cheeses and truffle sauce and all sorts of fun things. You'll find them kind of all over the place. They can be kind of expensive, but honestly, just go in and try everything. And that makes it worthwhile right there. And then we just spend a whole bunch of money. Money. Next up, we have this beautiful column. This beautiful lady and this beautiful altar of the fatherland. 
This was uh, uh, made for Victor Emmanuel for the first unified Italy. It's a beautiful, and at night it's all lit up and it's amazing. Beautiful street. Down the street is the Colosseum, and then to our right is the Roman Forum. Just ruins and relics everywhere. And the Imps Coliseum, which Katie's making lots of fun facts up about. <laughs> this I top part is to block the sun <laughs> and tell the time in the inside. He said make something up, so I didn't. So we're making fun facts up. It's pretty amazing though. The sun setting on it. The other side of this beautiful structure. The sun glowing on it is so pretty. It's been a very busy walk so far here. Um, just finished the Coliseum walk. These dogs are barking. And we are hungry. So we're going by a place called Lirioni, which is right by the Coliseum and known for its really, really good pizza. So you figure why not when we're here for a few hours, let's do a pizza and let's do some pasta. And then we're gonna have to do some gelato afterwards. Alright. Sound good team? Yeah. So we didn't actually we didn't actually go into any of the sites because they're mostly closed now because it's too late, but got a good chance to see everything from outside and see a little bit of everything tonight. This is where we're gonna have dinner tonight at the Emma Pizzeria and they do really good pizza and pasta and amazing zucchini flowers. So we're gonna take you through a little culinary experience of Italian specialties. First up we've got a little appetizer here with a stuffed zucchini flour which is full of mozzarella cheese and that is going to be deliciously tasty. <laughs> Gotcha. Pizza. We have fresh cheese. cheese and tomatoes and arugula. Delicious. And chorizo. <laughs> and the last component to our dinner is a nice carbonara. Mm -hmm. Our faves these. Pizza and pasta. Night has fallen on us. We're going to the Pantheon now though. It's a short walk from our place where we had pizza and pasta at Emma. Uh, and then we're going to go through Piazza, Piazza Novona and then to a gelato place. We're going to the Gelateria del Teatro. Um, and then we're gonna hang up, walk up by Castello Sant'Angelo and the Vatican. And that'll pretty much wrap up our night because we've been going for a few hours now and we got another hour left. And just a short walk later, we find ourselves at the Pantheon. Look at that beauty. Stunned or what? Beautiful. I didn't think I, I don't think I saw this last time. Mom, did I? It's amazing. It? It's huge. And you go inside, it's really cool. It's like the Oculus where the sun beams through the middle of it. Oh, me. Mm -hmm. Next up on our list is the Piazza Navona, which is kind of just a. It's an area where there's lots of restaurants and a nice little bustling square. It's actually kind of a nice area to just have a coffee or a meal and watch the people as they go by. It's quite large, a lot of people come here. It's pretty at night. Your thoughts? Beautiful. Have you been here before? Dorothy, has she been here before? <laughs> yes, I want to say yes. Very pretty, nice, just a very nice square up towards, again, towards the Pantheon uh, and towards Vatican. A little closer view of the obelisk and this beautiful church, cathedral, and this beautiful specimen. Oh. <laughs> Next up, gelato. Gelateria del Teatro. Yeah. Oh, we got lunch tomorrow. We got lunch tomorrow too. <laughs> that, was that was crazy. How was it? Classic lemon. Delicious. Brad with the largest one humanly possible to find. White chocolate and cheese and cherry. Very Delicious. Good. And I got uh, chocolate mint and lemon underneath. Delicious. Mmm. Fresh gelato. Drop some gelato fun fact tips. Cool. Um, go to a place that does gelato only. We would have a little bakery thing that would be okay, but gelato only. And you don't want to look for the big mountainous piles that have decorations on them because those tend to be the factory made ones. Which to make it look pretty. You want small batch, little pile, some gone. Bananas should be like brownie colored, not yellow. Just don't need banana ice cream. But you know, real colors. No food coloring, no, no artificial stuff. 
On the way to the Vatican, we have Castel Sant'Angelo. Disco, disco! Okay, our day is getting a little long and tiresome now, but we've made it to the beautiful Vatican City and the beautiful St. Peter's Basilica. And we are gonna take some amazing pictures here and see some amazing videos because there's not a lot of people here anymore. It's quite quiet compared to earlier in the day. Check this out. Absolutely stunning. Inside St. Peter's Basilica, the dome is so massive, it's unbelievable once you're inside. I've never been in a more impressive church, in my opinion. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> oh dear! <laughs> we got a runaway here. Hit us with the thing and they ran away from it. <laughs> it's a hit and run. So unbelievably beautiful. Uh, just like yes. completely surreal how amazing it is here. Especially with how quiet it is. It's just it's nice and cool. Yeah, it's so 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 amazing. It's a great way to wrap up our end of our 15 kilometer express roam. Yeah, this is this is your express. Wear good, wear good shoes, bring an empty water bottle and you can and eat lots of treats and you'll be able to go for hours. Exactly. Yeah, and this is your express see everything. Didn't go inside a couple places, but we got to see literally everything that we wanted to see today in like and a four or five hour period. And yeah. Incredible. Now we're gonna head back to the hotel. We're staying just outside the city and we're gonna head to bed because we gotta get up tomorrow for our flight home. So we'll see you guys in the next one when we fly Air Canada business class to Montreal. Yeah. See you in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe up here. Check out our most recent other videos over here or subscribe to our other channel over here.